Hey, it's Jason with Hardy Life Outdoors. I'm in Southeast Ohio. I'm outside the darn barn and doing a quick demo of the Ego Weed Eater. Um, this is not the typical uh, edge your sidewalk driveway around the flower beds application. This is much heavier weeds, both uh, thick and woody stems. So you saw what it did. It went through stuff pretty well and uh, you know, all in all, I like the result. I can definitely clean this area up with this tool. In the past, I have used a gas powered and I just recently decided to take a look at the Ego tools. Everything seems to be going towards electric and frankly, gas has always been one of those things that it's great when it works, but it's not great when it doesn't. If you don't want to be mixing gas and oil, if you don't want the mess that goes with that, um, you know, the great thing about this, there is no gas oil mix that goes with this. So you don't have to mix any gas and oil, just battery powered. When this thing ships, the battery and the battery charger are separate. The battery is going to have about a half of a charge on it. You're going to want to uh, charge that up all the way. When you start charging it, one of the things you may notice is that the charger makes some noise. That's a fan that cools it. This is a big battery that it's charging fast. The potential for heat is there. So if you're charging it in your basement, in your garage, you're not even going to notice it. I happen to be charging in my kitchen. So I noticed it. The handle will need to be put on. It's simply you take this, uh, there, there's a wing nut on here. You take it off, slide it over, put it back together, put the wing nut on, nothing to it. You also will need to put the shield on the bottom. They send an Allen wrench for doing that. So simple, simple assembly. Uh, once it's fully charged, you can put it on and it's ready to go. One thing I highly recommend, get yourself a set of uh, safety glasses. That's one of the things when you're doing this, it will kick stuff up. You're going to want safety glasses on, so definitely recommend it. There's additional security uh, or safety recommendations in the manual. Take a look at those. Um, all in all, what I think of it, it does have the carbon fi fiber rod, which makes it a little more lightweight. From a balance standpoint, even with the battery, it's pretty well balanced. Um, you know, right here where the operator is, the balance point is right in there. It's nice. The handle is adjustable up and down the uh, carbon fiber shaft, depending on what you're comfortable with. Um, one of the things it does not have and, uh, you know, might be nice is if it had a shoulder strap, something to help support it. But uh, I'll have to look online and see if that's a available option. I'm not sure if it is, but I always like having one. Um, on the handle, there is a safety button. You have to push that button before you pull the trigger. Push the button, pull the trigger, it takes off. One of the nice things about it, this is much quieter than running a gas-powered uh, motor. And all of the sound is down at the bottom away from you versus right up here by you. You still may want to consider some hearing protection. Um, I've done some hearing damage in the past by, using, by shooting guns and doing some things. So I wear hearing protection all the time. But um, my overall impression of this thing is it's a good tool i've actually purchased the chainsaw and the blower so i've got uh, videos out there uh, reviewing each of those or talking about each of those one of the things i did i made sure i bought the same battery pack for all of them so my battery packs are all interchangeable i did notice on one of the boxes it did say all ego batteries work with all ego tools so i know there's smaller batteries there's the potential that you could swap smaller batteries across some of the tools that would impact the weight that you're carrying around um, other than that, uh, battery on, off, there's a green button back here. It comes off very easily, slides on, locks in easy. So really nothing to it. So my overall impression, I really like the Ego tools. Um, I've got a snow blower at home that needs to be put together and tested. As soon as we get some snow, we'll do that. But uh, all in all, I'm impressed with it. I like it. I hope this was helpful. And uh, check out my other uh, items at... Hardy Life Outdoors product reviews. Thanks. Have a good one.